Let's first revisit some conference playoff action. Looking back on some of the best of the best from the Colonial League Boys and Girls Basketball Tournaments. Ladies first, beginning with three-time defending champion Northwestern Lehigh, which needed overtime to get past its first round matchup with Northern Lehigh. Tigers junior Kara Thomas with a game-high 17 points as Northwestern prevailed 51-45 to in the bonus session. The Colonial League first-team All-Star helping the Tigers avenge a regular season setback to the Bulldogs just eight days prior. Northwestern bidding for a spot in the state tournament tomorrow in a 4A consolation game opposite North Scoople. The Tigers fell in the Colonial League semifinals to top-seeded Palmerton, but not before this thrilling overtime victory in the quarters. Defense ultimately was the name of the game in this year's girls finale. Second ranked Notre Dame Green Pond limiting the high powered Blue Bombers to just two points in the first quarter. Multiple blocks each from Emily Lessig, Carly Campbell and Sarah Zambo. The two sides combined for just 22 points by halftime. All told it was the lowest offensive output, output for both sides this season. Palmerton held to just 34 points overall, but the Bombers kept the Crusaders to just 20 on the night, making the fourth time the charm for Palmerton. After three straight title game setbacks, the Blue Bombers finally swapped silver for Colonial League gold. Hannah Berry and Sydney France with nine points apiece in the title game triumph as Palmerton secures its first league championship in 26 years. They're in the district final four tonight versus Catasaqua. Blue Bombers boys also reached this year's league finals. Palmerton getting an MVP level performance in the semis from Colonial League co-MVP Matt Mahalik. The sensational senior with a game high 27 points as the Bombers battled back for a 45-44 win versus Saucon Valley in the final four. Mahalik converted 10 field goals on the night and went seven for nine from the free throw line, which included a pair of late makes, putting Palmerton ahead for good. The 1,000-point scorer saw his season and career end in the opening round of districts. Blue Bombers finished this year 15 and 10. Overall, Mahalik sharing MVP honors this winter with Colin Boyle from Notre Dame Green Pond, who turned in another impressive showing against Northwestern in the semis. The senior had a game-high 23 points in the Crusaders' late January win over the Tigers, followed that up with a team-high 19 in the round of four, Notre Dame outlasted Northwestern 64 to 59. Crusaders back in the Colonial League Championship for a second straight season where Notre Dame would claim a second consecutive Colonial League crown. This one down to the wire though. Crusaders trailing by one with time winding down when Boyle executes a brilliant reverse layup giving Notre Dame a 60 to 59 lead that would ultimately produce the second straight league title for Pat Boyle's bunch and the fourth in program history. Colin Boyle with a dozen points overall, one of three Crusaders to finish in double figures, along with Isaiah Miles and Cameron Bond, who tallied 14 apiece. Notre Dame hasn't lost since late December, bringing a 15-game winning streak into tomorrow's District 3A semifinal versus Panther Valley.